What's up you guys? Making my first YouTube video with my phone because I want to make something really quick that I can get out to you guys right away uh, to try to help as many gym owners, coaches, uh, and people as I possibly can in the CrossFit, you know, and overall boutique gym like industry. Um, so if you're a member at a gym that you could see this coronavirus having a big impact on and you know, their margins are really small, maybe they're not a big gym at all, um, and you know, they're really impacted by this, I highly recommend sharing this video with them to hopefully allow them to keep as many members active as they possibly can. So the first thing I want to point out, we closed our doors today after a couple of our, our morning classes and it has been nonstop crazy ever since. Every single member is emailing us because well, right when we close, we sent out an email saying, hey guys, we're closing our doors. We're sorry about this. We don't really know when we're going to open again because if we, we're going to be forced to close in the next couple of days anyways and they're not going to let us open up until they decide to let us open up. So we don't really know what they have in store for us. Um, but this is what's going on. This is what we're going to do for you guys and provide for you so you still see us all the time, every single day like you typically do, um, and still get a lot out of your time being spent in the house. So um, the first thing I want to point out is that every single member is emailing us. So your gym owner right now, if you, the gym owner is doing the same thing, is probably incredibly overwhelmed, probably running around with their head cut off. They don't know what's going on. Um, so try to be understanding of this time that they are trying to probably do the best they can to make everyone happy and make everyone as calm as possible. So the first thing that was included in our email that we're going to be doing for our members is providing home workouts. Now, I saw another gym on Instagram post the other day that I, I follow that I really enjoy their program. It looks really fun and um, intense and like it looks like really good, you know, structured stuff. Um, they posted like a five by eight goblet squat with whatever heavy object you can find around the, your house, which is perfect. But then the AMRAP was a 10 minute AMRAP. 10 minutes of fitness is nothing right now when people are stuck in their house all day going crazy and being stressed out and having crazy amounts of anxiety. So I highly recommend you program long, long workouts. And our home workouts we're providing, we're giving them warm-ups, really intense, like EMOM style warm-ups to get their heart rate going quick. Um, we're giving them really long workouts, 30 minutes of AMRAPs, EMOMs, chippers, uh, interval stuff, things like that. And then we're giving them accessory work afterwards, like core work, holds, um, slow single arm single leg uh, tempo stuff just to get them a lot in this time in order for everyone to be able to get the most out of this so I recommend programming at least an hour of fitness if not an hour and a half two hours of fitness so that way they they're distracted they're satisfied they still have you in mind they're still engaging with you and being there um, you know like as if it's a class uh, and getting some kind of sanity in this time I recommend posting your workouts wherever you typically post them. You post them on Wattify, or you post them on uh, whatever you know vessel you use to get your members their program. You post it on there, and hopefully they have comments or some kind of access so they can still submit their scores. Uh, do that so that way they can still you know see how they rank, still communicate, still comment to one another, and still be as close to one another as they can. Because everyone in the gym is good friends. They want to keep hanging out with their friends. The second thing I recommend that we're doing too is we're lending out equipment. Now the only thing we're lending out currently is dumbbells and kettlebells. That might change. Everyone's hitting us up. Everyone wants to borrow stuff. People have also said, can we borrow barbells? Can we borrow rowers or assault bikes and things like that? Even though those are high ticket items that we don't really want to chance it if they do end up breaking them or something were to happen where it, you know they don't come back and we're out of assault bike or something like that. So what I thought of is we're letting out dumbbells and kettlebells because we want them to trade that in exchange for them keeping their membership active. What in the case of some of you guys think this is a good idea, have them keep membership active as well as pay a fee in order to take a larger piece of equipment. So if you want a barbell, okay, keep membership active, and then it's also 50 bucks on top of that, or 100 bucks. If you want to take an assault bike, membership active plus 300 bucks. Um, something like that just to get a little more uh, money in the gym if need be, so that way they can hopefully sustain uh, as long as they can in this time. So that's also an option, consider that. The third thing, which I feel like a lot of gyms should be doing, so I think a lot of gyms are just making videos or making home programming, and that's kind of like all they're doing, is make live content. So right now we have a schedule. We're doing morning yoga. We're doing uh, midday CrossFit. We're doing uh, nutrition in the middle of the day. I, we're debating on whether we want to do um, nutrition for like food sometimes, and then go back with just like nutrition talk and kind of just like break down how the importance of carbs fat, um, you know, sleep's effect on your body and how it, you know, deals with your body's composition and how your body functions and different like, things like that, as well as a barbell class, slow tempo position work with a broom, lots of mobility, lots of holds, and then a nighttime yoga. I don't know if you can hear it, my dogs are fighting in the next room. Uh, so every single day, Monday through Friday, we're going to do live videos like that. Saturday, we'll do our live, you know, 
community workout we typically have at the gym. Sundays we'll have our one big uh, workout we'll do live as well we typically have at our gym. So that way people are still getting as much out of this time as they can, not just a program that they do on their own and not figured out. We're giving them a really intense you know, amount of fitness during this time, letting them borrow equipment so they can still do a lot of the workouts. I don't wanna to touch that topic up again in a second. And we're also doing live videos so they can see our faces and literally text us and I can, or comment on the video and I can comment back and we can engage with them. Going back to the borrowing of equipment, or actually going back to the first thing, the home workouts. For the home workouts, obviously you're limited. You saw a lot of people are gonna, obviously a lot of gyms making burpee and air squat and lunge and uh, jumping jack workouts. Get creative because there are a lot of things in people's houses that they can use as equipment. Some guy messaged me the other day and he says he's using wheelbarrows to carry heavy stuff around his backyard. He's using, uh, he bought, he has a punching bag and he's using that to just like do heavy carries around the house. There are a lot of things people can use right now or if they, they're not too scared, they can go like offer up and buy this or go to like a convenience store somewhere nearby and buy some random stuff that's heavy that they can use as equipment. Um, instead of using dumbbells for a dumbbell row, grab a bucket, fill it with some rocks, fill it with some ice, fill it with some books or whatever and you can do rows, you can do presses, you can do a lot, Turkish get-ups, you can do a lot of different things. So. Find ways to be creative in the videos that we are going to be doing for our live uh, content. I'm not going to be using a dumbbell and say, hey guys, if you don't have a dumbbell, use whatever. I'm going to be using a bucket. Say, hey guys, if you have a dumbbell, cool. If not, grab a bucket like me or grab a box or grab something to where you can still get something out of this um, and not just making the workouts boring and repetitive because people are going to get really bored of burpees and air squats and sit-ups really, really fast if you don't you know, use your muscle, your most important muscle um, and get creative with it because that's going to keep people engaged and not having them go to some other program because some other programming that they've heard is doing really cool stuff like, uh, you know, some other gym is making some really intense workouts and yours look boring and they're 10 minute AMRAPs. Don't do that. So those are my uh, things I recommend that gyms are implementing to help hopefully retain as many members as they can in this time. If you guys have any other ideas, things you're doing, things you've thought about, leave them down below. I really want to hear them and I want to kind of, uh, you know, hopefully keep everyone, <laughs> as much as people as we can in the situation uh, around when this is all over with. I don't want gyms to close. I don't want anyone to have to deal with this hardship. Hopefully we can all, you know, come together and grow from this and <laughs> deal with this crazy time to be alive. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, share with everyone that you know of, uh, subscribe. I'm posting a lot more videos now. It's time to have a lot more time to be home. Um, and if you don't already, follow us at Constant Ray Fitness on Instagram. I also made a TikTok. I've been playing around with TikTok. It's actually kind of fun making little skit videos. So check them out there as well if you have a TikTok. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Uh, do everything you can to help one another as much as you can. Take care.